give you a quick little video update. Um, for those of you who don't be paying attention, my mount fell off my car uh, the other day. Y'all know I love my doggone mount, so I had to order from the same company. It's been, what, two, three years now that I've had that same mount. And I have been able to pull it out of this car, put it in rental cars, all kind of stuff. And it's still stuck, but the other day it got like over 100 degrees in the car. And it finally melted and fell off the damn car. I think I showed it. Yeah, that's where the spot used to live. That's where it used to live. So I've been waiting on Amazon to send me a new dog on mount. Because that's the place where I found it originally. No, I haven't started shopping with Tamu yet. I don't know something about the company. I know they got like a lot of affordable things, and I heard they are the same prices as Amazon. Well, not the same price, same products as Amazon. But you know, trying to give all my credit card information to all these different new companies, and especially being another Asian brand company, I'm like, come on now. <sighs> I'd be hacked too many times for me to be trying to, you know, utilize more than one company um but anywho i'm waiting on the mount um i just got an update from amazon telling me it's not going to be here now to the 17th 16th or 17th which they've been losing a lot of my products lately i get an email they're supposed to, it's supposed to come in two days i get an email say hey uh there was a delay with your product boom okay the next one say hey we got a new date and it's like a two three weeks later than when i originally ordered it then it, the next would be like hey <laughs> you can come back here and get a refund if you don't get it tomorrow. So I've been dealing a lot with that. Um, Keenan and I, we had a car accident the other day. Uh, somebody ran into the back of us. We were sitting at a light, laughing, joking, doing what we do. I swear we was hit so hard, I do not remember the conversation that me and Keenan was had. She don't remember it either. The conversation got knocked the fuck out of us. And the dude, um, I'm not sure... If he just was, he just, he couldn't have just, he could have just not been paying attention because we had been at the red light for a long time and he smacked the shit out of us and we threw us in the traffic about a good five feet. Luckily, the oncoming traffic had just got a red light so they were stopping and nobody was running the red light. Um, there was a biker, a guy that was on a bike that was trying to cross in front of us. Luckily, he didn't hit, get hit either. He was able to stop once he heard the impact and I wouldn't, so I, my car wasn't thrown into him. We're fine, we believe. Um, so far, we're still not feeling any type of pains. My car wasn't damaged at all. The young man, I don't know if he's feeling any pain at all himself, but his car wasn't damaged either. And the way he hit us, I'm so surprised. So surprised. But this car, my little Hyundai, I've been rear-ended three times, y'all. And, and on the back end of this car, this bumper has taken it. And boy, I'm just saying. So I've had a heck of a week. I went out on my first outing. Like me and Keenan have gone to the movies. We've been to a couple concerts, comedy show. You know, we've done a lot of things. We've done those things. We love to go to parks. You know what I'm saying? We go out to eat all the time. But we haven't really did anything event-wise other than those concerts and comedy. Show, the one comedy show that was Martin Lawrence. So um, I joined this group here in Orlando of black women and they host a lot of damn events. So we went to R&B Bingo the other night. It was so doggone fun, y'all. Basically they played a song and then you had to find the artist on your card. Now, the, the thing is, the songs are everybody's jams, child. So everybody in there turned up, we sing it. You may not even recall who the artist is and you gotta find that artist on your card and they done moved on to the next song. So I didn't get close to winning in neither round. None of my friends, uh, I invited some coworkers from work. They all went, Kena went. Um, they invited some of their sisters and their friends. So we had a nice little group that went with us. Um, people who sat with me, it was like six of us. And then um, two of my supervisors, they had like a group of eight, nine people with them. So, but yeah, it, it, was, it was a nice time. My voice is, it's not gone, but it's you know, not as energy filled as it normally is. Um, what else is going on in my life? Come on, y'all, my light is green. Um, I think that's about it. I need to get out here and do my yard work, but I am 
I'm beat. I came home yesterday from work and I went to bed at 7 p.m. When I woke up, it was 7 a.m. this morning. 12 hours, y'all. Now, my little watch said that I woke up through the night. I remember getting up at least one to go use the bathroom. And then Keena texted me about one this morning and said, am I okay? So I don't know, I must have been choking or coughing in my sleep or something. I, I you know, I, I had to be okay because I'm here right now. So, I'll, I'll resume, you know, traveling talk once I get my mouth. But I just want to give y'all like a, a short ride because it's a short ride here. It's going to be less than 10 minutes. I'm in, I'm in my neighborhood right there now. I'm about to turn into my neighborhood. And I'm holding this phone up against the stirring column, which is not the safest thing to do. But I need to get my little walk on. I haven't weighed myself, Speedboat. Haven't weighed myself. But I did lose an inch off my waistline. <clears throat> That's a good thing. Um, and I really need to do yard work and clean, but I can't because I'm tired. Uh, I need to rest. <coughs> oh, excuse me, child. <coughs> I ain't got no wipes in here. I ain't got no lights on. There's <sighs> so much I want to do in my house. I need to make products. I'm trying to prepare for a pop-up shop. Um, this one claims to get like 15 to 1700 people in foot traffic so I'm really trying to like build my brand I don't know y'all for the past this is what two two and a half years now I've been in business going on two and a half years and every January through March orders just slow the fuck down I guess everybody is still <clears throat> recovering from Christmas shopping but yeah it's slow down so I always try to build business back up around this time of year and it usually pops when it does but I want to be um get better known in my city too like I literally like literally I have only orders in Orlando from people that work so maybe joining this group speak up good morning maybe joining this group um will help me solicit some clientele as well you know um but i'm about to make some um some soaps this morning uh, my neighbor has been like <laughs> cutting my grass and raking my leaves so i want to make her you know a bottle of something i was thinking lotion but probably soap is might be the better thing and then the next door neighbor that made me the uh banana nut bread i want to give her make her some soaps and stuff too because yeah so that's my agenda i'm at home um like i said i'm about to get into this house and do some things actually i'm probably gonna get in this house and lay back down but i want breakfast i want waffles i finally got my damn waffle maker oh i didn't do the damn housewarming virtual housewarming either because I, I was tired um but it was gonna be real short <laughs> because um Anna L.A., Lady Virtue, Lady V, who I always thought was the same person. I think still, I think they're the same person. Uh, just from two different accounts. They um, are the ones who purchased me some items from my housewarming list. I appreciate you greatly. Greatly, greatly, greatly. Everything else on my list, I bought myself. Like, none of my family members purchased anything. Uh, one of my coworkers gave me a $50 gift card. And then the, the gifts that Anna and Lady V bought me, slash Lady Virtue. And then the rest all came for myself. Um, but I still, it's so much stuff I still need to get. Um, I got a couch coming in soon. Thank gosh, because we've been sitting. The patio furniture that I bought, I bought the, the two chairs, because it was a, a sofa, two chairs and two ottomans. The two chairs I brought in the house because we had no furniture inside the house. So I got a couch coming in two weeks. A couch coming in two weeks. And I'll have to turn this car off. Cause I'm in the garage and don't need no carbon fumes. But I need to clean out my car right now. I need to do that today. So if I do anything today, it's gonna be cutting down the weeds in the backyard to prepare for me to do the grass on Wednesday and cleaning out this damn car. Like I had a friend ride with me um, to the bingo thing and everything I had in the car, I put in the trunk. And I went and opened my trunk to give me a bottle of water 
and I saw all that shit that I had in my car in the trunk. So yeah, I need to clean my damn car out. Speaking of that, one of my friends got stuck in a damn garage, y'all. <laughs> on the R and B night, like you know, when the garages have like certain exits where they only had one exit open, and she took the wrong one and got stuck in between when the arm let down and the gates that were secured by chains and locks and shit like that, so she couldn't get out. I mean, she individually got our security letter out, but still, that was hilarious. Man, we had fun that night. If you just want to see a short clip of the event, they had like a Jodeci versus New Edition competition. Which they just pulled some men out the audience, and uh, I changed the spelling of it so people wouldn't think it's real New Edition and real Jodeci. And I put this clip of it on on Instagram, so it's hilarious. So follow me on Instagram. It's my twisted life, uh, M Y twisted, N Y F life on ig and uh y'all can see stuff that i don't post here on youtube you can get a lot of updates too um if, because if you don't watch my community boards you you yeah anywho the next video coming up um we got soul ties again if y'all not watching that series y'all should be it's very good if you're not watching the series at least watch the reviews leave comments on the comment section for me please because i see that ass fell off a lot y'all used to comment like crazy y'all don't comment no more um so, yeah, or maybe it's just not interesting to you. Okay, that's a possibility. Uh, or you're not watching it. And uh, I still, I realize I still haven't finished our Handmaid's Tale. I recorded a video. I don't know what the freak happened to it. I also was supposed to put up a video about financial waivers um, when, when buying a home or just when dealing with collection people, period. I recorded that video a few weeks ago. I realized that video hasn't been posted. So, I got a lot of things I need to post on the channel for you guys. Um, that new TV show that came out with um, Kerry Washington. I haven't watched it. I'm not hearing too many good things about it, though, from the people I know that are watching it. So, I don't know. I don't know, child. But, yeah, I need to get ready for this pop-up. It's in a month, and I need to mass-produce products. Y'all know I normally don't make my products until y'all order them. So just so I won't have like inventory just sitting here. You know, these are natural products. Shelf life is not the same as shelf life of things in the store because the preservatives that I'm using is a natural preservative. So it it it, it gives you some extended shelf life, but not like the store. You can leave shit in the stores for like 10 years and stuff like that and come back for it. Not these. So anywho, um, but I got to mass produce so I can make sure that I'm ready for this pop up. Yeah, this is my third one now, right? One, two, three fourth one i did i hosted one myself then i joined one that didn't pan out good at all like the amount the fee that i paid for the pop-up is exactly the amount of money that i made back so i broke even but it was like a waste of time because i could have just not came and saved the money but this time i say oh, we'll see we'll see if i'm able to do the whole thing i am planning some trips this year hopefully i can remember to vlog and post like i used to with my trips um, we're going to Utah, y'all. Utah. Me and Sad Scales, we talked about going to Utah before. Maybe we talked about Montana. I don't know which one it was. But I'm going to Utah. It's going to be myself, my daughter, and one of her friends. Um, and I'm, I'm going to go horseback riding for the first time in my life. I am scary when it comes to animals of that size. <laughs> You get bigger than a dog, then I got, I'm like nervous. I don't know, although I want to at least pet an elephant once in my life. But like horses can sense when you're scared. So I don't know how they, how I'm feel about this. I don't need to be tossed off no damn horse and shit because I'm scary. Oh. But I'm going to try to ride a horse. We're going up by the Twin Peak Mountains. Not the restaurant, but the mountains. Um, And there's this, re this, this comedy club that I watch on YouTube. Uh, called the dry bar they're located near this place also so i want to go see that comedy club and i don't know i got i'm still planning my trip to uh to greece this year um i want to plan a cruise to alaska i'm not big on cruising but i think that's the only way i'm gonna be able to do alaska is on the cruise and i want that to be for like next year around my uh, next year June I don't know what I'm doing for my birthday this year I, I planned on I canceled my house warming at my house all together because again I didn't have any family members that supported 
the housewoman. I had some people that was my my sister coming in from out of town. She's still coming because they were going to Disney World anyway. She's still coming. Um, I was gonna pay for my mom to come back for the housewarming, but that's a waste of money considering last time she was here, she was sick the whole week. Um, and then everybody else that was coming was her friends. That was it. Like her friends. It was like it was like a reunion for her. So I canceled it. So I'm probably gonna do something for my birthday, maybe throw a backyard barbecue or something like that. Especially once I start developing more bonds with the ladies I'm meeting in these groups and me and the ladies at work, we decided we're gonna try to do something at least once a month now. So Cause they say they don't really go out either. I guess this is they really first out and, and they all fucking live here. No. They all just moved here too. Well, she just moved here. She moved here. And they all just moved here like with the same around the same time I moved here. Interesting. Anywho, I'm finna get in here and I guess this is a travel and talk. On, on what day is this? What day of the week is this? This is Sunday. Yeah, let me go here and make my waffles. Cause I, I finally got a waffle maker, y'all. Oh. I've been missing my waffle maker. I'm going to go in here and make me some waffles. And some Jimmy Dean's turkey sausage. And maybe an egg or two. I think I'm going to weigh myself. I still see all the fat meat right here. But this particular week that I have been going through this exhaustion, I have not worked out like at all. I haven't walked at all. I've been doing, like, i still been getting 10,000 steps. But shit, I do that every day at work. So anything in excess of that I haven't done, I need to get back to it. <sighs> See y'all next video. Peace.